Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. There's right. a lot of names in that title. It's a, it's a mouthful. Yeah, it is right. a mouthful. And this is the Batman handheld game that's coming to the Vita and the 3DS. Tell us how this exists as a companion to the console game. Uh, cool, yeah. I mean, what's great about it is that it takes place three months after the console version. So okay. what we try to do with Montreal Studios, coordinate the stories so that we're not giving anything away, but if you play both of them, they go together really well. Our game alludes a lot to what happened in the previous game, so it's a really good continuation, and they are definitely partner games, so the idea is to pick up both and have a great time. We got the overhead! So you guys aren't having to create a full 3D world for Batman to run around in. Are we going to see more of Gotham City and, and some environments that we haven't seen in the, uh, in the Arkham game so far? Well, our game takes place in Blackgate Prison, so okay. the majority of the game is in Blackgate. The intro of the game takes place in Gotham, but 90% of the game takes place there, so it was a really big challenge to make the game look different in different areas of the game. We are using two-dimensional motion graphics or animatics for our storytelling. That's going to give it a new look for the game and how we can tell the story. While we're not showing the expanse of Gotham, we're able to really concentrate on a singular area and try to make that as different as possible. Apart from the fact that this is a Batman game on a handheld platform, 3D, but sort of 2D design, Armature is made up, made up of a bunch of people that came from Retro, and you worked on uh, Metroid Prime. That's right. And this game has a kind of a Metroid type of feel to it, too, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things we wanted to really do was kind of take our knowledge from the previous games and say, well, what do we want to do with it that's going to be different? Yeah. And instead of being over the shoulder, we're a two and a half D perspective that allows us to go a little more old school with the game. Mm -hmm. And instead of being a game about experience points and grinding on enemies to get XP, we put all of the pickups in the world. So it's more incentive to go out and find all of these secrets, get new items and blow up a wall. And there's a secret or a new whole area that you didn't see before. So that's what we really wanted to do with these games. And it's so fitting. I mean, this franchise is just built for this sort of gameplay.